so fucking hot, babe. I'm just kidding. Okay, this is super exciting for multiple reasons. I'm filming in daylight. I'll praise that extra hour of sunshine. Did I? I needed it. I needed it. My seasonal depression layer needs to peel off. Peel it. Shed it like a skin. Like a snake skin. I know every time. I got scared for a second of the reflection. I thought someone was in the car next to me. I'm like, oh my god, they're seeing me. It's just me. Me scaring. Me scaring myself. Which honestly happens more often than it should. Metaphorically and literally here. Anytime when we set the clocks back, I forget when we do that. Isn't it like October, somewhere around there? I'm like, all right, strap in, baby. Strap the fuck in. Predisposition to depression added with seasonal depression and anxiety. And it's just like, all right, survive. And we made it. And we made it. The bruise that I slammed into my fridge because I was so excited, I'd forgotten that I had, had cold pizza, so I was like, oh, that's the pizza, so I, with such force, threw my head up, I slammed it into the door of the freezer that's above the fridge, it's still there, it actually was gnarlier, anyways, what are we doing today, oh my gosh, we are road trip to the grocery store, but we're gonna chat, because we have a special relationship. I keep, like, not looking. I keep looking at myself, but then I'm like, oh, then it looks weird maybe for you. So I'm like, maybe I'll look at you. But then I can't see myself and say, whatever. My eyes are going to wander. I don't have a lazy eye. I'm just a narcissist staring at myself. So if you're curious, that's what that is. We're going to two, though. Two for the price of one. Back to Albertsons. I am hoping there's a cream cheese shortage. It's getting dire out there. Mama needs her cream cheese. So we're going to Albertsons for cream cheese and then Winco because it's cheaper for everything else. And I'm going to be bold and I'm going to be fucking brave. I left my list inside. Am I going to take the two seconds to get it? Hell no, motherfuckers, because we live life on the edge. Are we getting to get everything? Who the fuck knows? Probably not. We're going to shoot for the stars. And I'm not going to... Did you see that spit that flew out of my mouth? You shoot for the stars because if you don't land... You end up burning, combusting, and just falling into ash in the universe. So, we're going to risk it. We're either going to land on a star or be fucking combusted ash. So, I know very quickly, I was petrified of spontaneously combusting when I was younger. I remember crying and coming out to my mom. Like, I can't sleep. I'm like, what if I spontaneously combust tonight? And there's nothing you can tell. Like, I don't know what I expected my mom to say. Because maybe, maybe you will. I can't promise you won't. What a weird child. Maybe that's why I don't want kids. I'm afraid of having one of these. One of these. One of these. She handled it well. I'm trying to think what she said. I think she said like, oh no, you don't do that. But I was like, actually, no, I've watched Unsolved Mysteries and they had pictures. Did anyone see that episode? There were actual pictures of people that had spontaneously combusted and the remains that are on their bed. And it was just like black char in like a body outline and there was this one where the chair she was sitting on the chair spontaneously combusted the chair you know had some burn marks and then there was like ash on the floor and it had actually like burned through to the apartment below her like I am I'm look there's a little part of me I'm not afraid of spontaneously combusting anymore because I feel like it would probably be a quick and easy I feel like it would be quick especially if you're asleep and this is dark are we gonna go there I'm not saying this is healthy let's not I was thinking about this the other night, having had a, you know, a lifetime of, um, luckily my depression is doing very well right now, but I'm saying, you know, ups and downs. I think once you've had solid two plus decades of a history of depression, you aren't afraid of death. Like, because you're like, you, you kind of, you know, for so long, you're like, when it be, which is kind of a superpower in and of itself. I'm not saying it's, I would not wish depression on my worst enemy. However, you're kind of like... My arm is really getting tired. I don't, and I, I don't have a tripod. But it's like, you're not afraid of it. So you're like, I can fucking do anything. Like, sometimes when I have road rage and I'm like yelling at a person and I'm like, what am I afraid of? Them coming out of the car and doing something? Ending me? Okay. Like, you get bold. Like, there's that crazy, there's a crazy level of confidence because you'll do anything because you're not afraid. I don't know. 
So I'm not afraid of spontaneously combusting anymore because I'm like, also, you can't change it. You can't change the outcome. Like if you're going to, if it's your time to spontaneously combust, you're just going to do it. What's, what's fretting about it? Going to do anything, right? YOLO till you spontaneously combusto. Okay, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Let's get going. We're going to a different Albertsons because I went to another Albertsons. I don't know if you saw the video. They were out of cream cheese. I'm hoping we try our look at another Albertsons. We're either going to get nothing or maybe get lucky. Look at this little hair. She believed in herself. She's like, I'm not going to go in the bun, you motherfucker. You think you can contain me? You can't contain me. She's unchained. Okay, we're going to get going. I'm going to put you guys up. You're in now. Should we buckle you? There's my bag. You're holding my bag. Thank you. You're locked. Oh, don't look at how dirty my car is. It's really not that dirty. You're locked and loaded. Babe, we look so fucking good. Do you know what needs to get the fuck out? Thinly sliced cheese. Thinly sliced cheese. Okay, first of all, my first issue, who wants less cheese? Like whoever is like, no, 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 I don't want to. Fuck that. I want to be slathered, lathered, bathed, encased, entombed in cheese. Okay, it's just lifeblood. Second of all, the true issue with thinly sliced cheese is it's like you can't, they all fucking stick together. It's right. Like you can't, you can't get one without like breaking it up. You know, the, the cheeses are all crumbling. I'm like, I didn't ask for like crumbled feta here. You're trying to get one slice of cheese. And then I end up spending 10 minutes yelling and screaming in my kitchen, trying to make a turkey and sharp cheddar cheese sandwich because my cheese looks like a fucking jigsaw puzzle. And then I'm trying to like put it together, uh, you know, to like across the bread and the, the cheese. And it's not... It's not fucking working. And then my sandwich is all lumpy and I can't get, and thinly sliced cheese needs to get the fuck out of here. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Like Just kidding, we're not, we're not, no. You're fantastic, you can do my hair. I'm trusting. And who can say where the walls go? And the cream cheese gone, and my heart I'm broken inside. Out of stock. I did get some Philadelphia. It's not the same. Not the fucking same. On the road again. I'm getting alert on my phone. Twitter hosting. I'm sick of all these fucking lives and shit. Like if you're on Twitter hosting a live, sorry if you do that, but that's like the low. That's like one step away from going on a Facebook live. I deleted Facebook like years ago. Twitter's like hovering, fucking right over there incestuous with Facebook in my mind. I've never been in one, but I'm assuming there's no like face, it's just like what, a type chopper? That's back to like AIM. Why don't they just bring AIM back? If we're going back to just fucking, that's just a chat room. They, uh, you know, things don't happen. I thought that guy had a bumper sticker that says Sriracha, but it's not. It's search and rescue. Wouldn't that be cool though? Search and rescue for my Sriracha bitches. I would support that police crew. Like, I don't want to get into hot sauce over, I don't know, inhumanity. Sorry, Instagram. And then I'll stretch it out from Instagram. But yeah, maybe like once, I every day, once a day before I do my morning poo. But then if the rest of the day, sometimes I'll go the whole rest of the day. And I'm kind of proud of myself because I used to be on the like for hours. And I will say, feels better in here. I will say, if you're on social media too much, it does. It and I know this is all fucking recycled shit, so I don't need to go through it. If you're hosting a Twitter live, look yourself in the mirror. But also, what do I know, right? I'm going to three different Albertsons in a long quest for fucking cream cheese that's out of stock. Oh my God, when I saw Blue Crush, I swear to God, everyone, if they say that they did not have a girl crush, I don't care what your gender is, your sexuality, whatever, on uh, Kate Bosworth and fucking Blue Crush, you're fucking lying to yourself. I want to be cool like that. I want to, like, I'm not chill enough to be a fucking surfer. Who are we fucking kidding? They'd be, like, so much manic energy. They're like, you're scaring away the waves, bitch. Get the fuck out. And then that whole playlist, oh, my God. Look, if you have not watched, one, the original Blue Crush, I saw the sequel, not good. Stay away from the sequel. The original Blue Crush and the soundtrack, get on that. Okay, that P.O.D. song, Darn the Youth of the Nation. Okay, I did not know that P.O.D. was a Christian rock band. And I felt so 
betrayed when I found that out. I'm like, you're fucking, you're singing about fucking Jesus to me? That was real slick of ya. You slipped that in there, P.O.D. You're talking about the big man. I felt like a, the real wool was pulled over my eyes because I'm rocking out to, you You know, you, I think it is called Youth of the Nation. That one that goes, da, 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 da. anyways, it's on the Blue Crush. And I found that out and I'm like, ah. I still like the song. You know who also did that to us in the, the early 2000s was a real, those Christian rocks were playing slick and loose with the rules though, there. They were teasing a lot of a switch foot. You guys all know what I'm fucking talking about. That one hit. The thing is though, we eventually catch on because you listen to the whole CD. I'm sure that I didn't listen to the whole CD. There's probably more talk, like, you know, less metaphorical, more like praise God shit. Still listen to the soundtrack. Lenny Kravitz is in there. That man, too sexy. Even if you didn't know that he had washboard abs and what he looked like, you can tell by his voice that he's fucking hot as shit. I'm wondering, when people like, you can tell someone's hot by their voice, I wonder if it's like swagger, just like confidence that kind of bleeds through, or if they were just born with a sexy voice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder, it would be really interesting if it's something about the timber, the timber, whatever, but sometimes I'll listen to a girl and I'm like, I can tell she's hot. I think it's like, you're just, co the, the confidence kind of exudes through your voice. Excuse me. I was calling, who was I calling? I think my Xfinity or whatever I had to deal with. I'm like, I'm listening to this guy, motherfucker. And I'm like, Chad, with Xfinity, I can tell you're fucking hot, dude. We had a good conversation, a little banter back and forth. Maybe that has a part to do with it too, because if you can banter, motherfucker. Oh wait, we actually want to, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 he was my, he was my Wells Fargo banker. And then immediately I remembered, I'm like, oh, well he can also see what my bank balance is. So that clearly is gonna be, there's no hope here. Not that there was any hope to begin with because you're just like a dust in the wind when you're talking to a customer service person, you don't know where they are. But the fact that he could see that we are like straddling the fucking poverty line, pumping that. I am like straddling that poverty line like a fucking one of those poles, you know where the, the exotic dancers where they're like inverted? Their, their thighs are like squishing between the pole to hold them up. That's me and the zero balance of my bank account. I am hanging upside down on a pole, hoping I don't crash. There is literally, I swear to God, there was a jock strap hanging from that tree. We're across from a the gym, a gym. That was a jock strap. Like you've seen shoes and all that. That was a literal sweaty ass gross jock strap. I didn't know when I woke up I was gonna see that. I wonder who just like has their jock strap is like I'm gonna throw it into a tree. I mean I guess that's pretty good aim, that's what she said, to get it up there. Or maybe they didn't want it to be stuck. So in which case they have bad aim. I'm gonna say this. If you're with someone that's throwing their jock strap in a tree, don't let them penetrate you. That's so many red flags. That you can go. That's sweet. Now you can go too. You know what? I really don't, I don't like when people kind of like tag on, like, okay, we've got a third tagger on her. Again, I understand that you're pedestrians right away, but like when you let one person go and then it like opens the floodgates, we're going now, I'm sorry, no offense. I was very kind. It's like holding a door open for someone and then another one goes and another one and another one and, another one. and finally you're like, I'm sorry, but I truly need to go at some point and I'm trying to be polite. The people pleaser in me is, but I can't wait for everyone. I say the rule is like two. After two, then you should be able to go. Okay, we're gonna go to window. What do we need here? Oh, Blueberry Loaves, my love, affinity. I think I've talked quite a bit. We're in a long-term relationship, Blueberry Loaf and I. Will we continue this? I'm not sure because you know what? The deeper I'm getting into this video, the deeper I'm like questioning, is this content, is this interesting to you? Whatever, okay, we're going. And we are back, Winco success, got the Blueberry Loaf and bananas. What else do we get? A lot of whole wheat English muffins. Uh, Bread, I don't know why I'm just rattling off. Anyways, a successful trip. I think that's it. I hope you had fun today. Oh, I do want to point out, I thought it was really interesting. There was this, well, interesting in a good way. Like, mm, let's think about this. There's a girl literally just dancing down the aisle of Winco. The vibe of Winco is very Walmart-esque, if I do say. Except, honestly, in Walmart, they bag... No, they probably stopped. They used to bag for you. Now they don't. And I kind of like it. I want to bag my own shit. 
but that's the vibe of Winco. And there was a girl just dancing around doing pirouettes in the aisle. And a part of me is like, you know what? Fucking baby, live your life. It made me think of like, the world is your stage. Winco can be your stage. She's like, I used to be prima ballerina, bitches. So now I'm doing pirouettes by the bulk foods. You gonna stop me? Or are you gonna enjoy the fucking show? Or I will go fucking black swan all over your ass. I don't know why I'm giving her such a backstory, but in my mind, I love the idea that she is a, a former, actually an aspirational ballerina. Like she got cut from the New York. She lived gritty. She moved to New York. She put everything in. She broke all of her toes for, you know, gnarly ass toenails for years and years and years. And, and dancing was her passion. Wait, this is actually paralleling very quickly. Now I am realizing she is me. I am her. She refuses to give up dance. And now rather than being with the New York Dance Academy, I think that's the, I don't know, whatever. She's doing pirouettes in Winco. And that's me running down the street. But we're, God damn it, we're all following our passions and we're living Maybe not your first dream, but your dream and her mind. It's the stage of the Nutcracker. That's the only ballet I know. And it's by Bulk Foods. And that's metaphorically me. Is it sad or is it beautiful? Who am I to decide? Anyways, you know what? We're going to be done here. Uh, if you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you liked how my eyes have diverted the entire time between looking at you and then looking at myself, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and give a thumbs up for no other reason than I'm saying it. Please subscribe. Oh my God, you can get more of this all of the time. Great camera angles. Great camera angles. Sorry about the spit there. I'm real. I'm down to earth. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you write anything, I truly appreciate it. And I, and I, and if I don't say this enough, thank you for anyone that is watching, specifically the people that I interact with in the comments. You know who you are. You're special. You're right in here next to sharp cheddar cheese and looser and cream cheese in my heart. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I hope you're having a great day, night, whatever the fuck time it is you're watching this. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Until then, let's just all collectively send positive vibes to the Lucerne Dairy Farm. Because temporarily out of stock is slowly killing me. Let's get those stocks. Let's get the stocks up, up, up. Stock, stop, bro. Get the Lucerne up, up, up. Okay, we're done. Okay, thank you a lot. <laughs> like all this spit. I, whatever, I'm done, bye. <laughs> okay, I just got home real fast, and I have to pee so bad, I can't stand up right now. I hope I make it. Okay, bye. I'm a disaster.